are you team UK enchanted by its history bustling cities and academic excellence or are you team Canada lured by its diverse landscapes inclusive and warm community and academic elegance or still confused we know that choosing a study abroad destination can be as tough as choosing between masala chai and a hot cream latte tough choices very tough choices right we will try to clear all the confusion in the air or we might end up changing your decision this is not an average face off we are here to help our fellow indian students to navigate through every exciting possibilities that these nations have to offer so whether you are dreaming of the big ben or mess prize by the beauty of rockies this video is tailor made for you we'll break down everything you need to know about living studying and thriving in the uk and canada everything is on the table today so let's start the differences all right let's start with the heavyweight bout education according to qs ranking 4 out of top 10 universities and 17 out of top 100 universities of the world are in the uk but wait canada has 3 universities in top 100 universities of the world so who gets the academic crown we get the academic crown point number 2 pr that is permanent residency getting a pr in canada is much simpler as compared to the uk I'll explain this with the most basic condition. In Canada, you need just one year of work experience to apply for the PR. While while in UK, you need five years of work experience to apply for a PR. Well, we have our own reasons. Finances play a very important role when it comes to studying abroad. So we have divided the cost into two categories: cost of living and cost of studying. So let's check out. UK's cost and here is the Canada cost. So, as you can see, here the Canada's cost is less than UK. Anushka, why don't you tell them the catch? <laughs> It's not a big thing. In UG, the cost will be the same. If you go for the diploma, Canada is cheaper than UK. But in case you decide to go for a two-year master's degree, the cost doubles, which will be ultimately more than UK because in UK the master is off. One year. Number four, quality of life. To discuss this, we have taken into consideration the Better Life Index by OECD. This index is based on the self-evaluation by the citizens. As expected, Canada secures 16th spot in the world, while UK nabs the 19th spot. What about the World Happiness Index? Canada again 13th. UK is not far behind. It's on the 19th spot only. Number five, employment. So to discuss employment rate, we'll be discussing the unemployment rate. For UK, it's four point two percentage, and for Canada, it's five point five percent. But do remember, you need required skill sets in both the countries to get a job. But let's stick to the fact now that UK is still better than Canada. Point number six, part-time jobs. Well, there is not much difference in this aspect. In the UK, it's twenty hours a week with the average salary of. 10.91 pounds per hour. In Canada, same deal, same as different currency. Get ready for 13 to 25 cat per hour. In Canada, most universities require GMAT and GRE score for masters. While in UK, you can easily get it off it. All right. Now let's talk about the space to stretch your arms. That is population density. In Canada, it is just four people per square kilometer. Spacious. But in the UK, it's like a big party here with two eighty people per square kilometer. Huge, huge difference, right? But it's okay. Imagine this: you have graduated and you're itching for a change of feel. Since we are particular, Canada might make you sweat a bit. <laughs> But the UK, they are all about the fresh start. The UK happily takes into consideration the students who are planning to change their fields, unlike Canada or Rajat Abbas. Now let's talk about the course duration for masters. Course duration for UK's masters is just one year, and they are highly reputed. But 
Canada has a comprehensive and detailed program of two years. So what? But they're equally equivalent. Equally, equally equivalent. <laughs> well, it was an epic showdown, right? Yes, but remember, both the destinations have their own charm, excitement, and opportunities. What you have to keep in mind? Your long-term goals, finances, and yes, please do a thorough research before finalizing the country. So which team are you rooting for? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more fine film content. Until next time, keep dreaming big and exploring even bigger. Happy studying abroad.